Hello guys, here is JNM with the next Godot 3 tutorial. In that I will show you a simple camera follow script for third person player. So let's continue where we stopped. We can move around now this low poly character. And we also added rotations. Okay, that's nice. But of course we want the camera to follow the character. We already have a camera in the scene, which is imported from the Blender file. But we're going to add a new one to the character, which is a scene as well. So open it and let's see where to add this camera. The camera should be behind and above the player. And for example, look at the player's hat or a certain target that moves with the player. So let's add the camera first as a child of the character. Okay, and then I'm going to add a new spatial node, also as child of the character, and call this target. Then I set the camera to be the child of this target, and move the target upwards, this will be the point in 3D space that the camera will look at. Then I move the camera to a position like here, rotate it 180 degrees. Then rotate it a bit forward, this is also known as the pitch of the camera. And then I press the preview button, just to get an impression on how it will look like in the end. Alright, we are finished with the basic setup, and now we can go ahead and attach a new script to the camera. I'm going to call this camera follow, and then let's write the code. First I add two member variables, one for the distance of the camera to the player and one for the height. Both are defined as export, so that they can be modified outside the script. After that I enable the physics process method and define the camera as top level. This means it can be positioned independent from the parent. Now in the method physics process I get the origins of the target node and the camera node. And I also define the up vector that we will need later on for calculating the rotation angle of the camera. Ok, now when I subtract the target origin from the camera origin, I get the offset as a vector. Then I normalize and multiply this with the distance variable, and the value for the y-axis are set to the height variable. Then I add this offset to the target position, and the last thing that I have to do is to call the look at from position function to adjust the camera's position and rotation. Oh, I see I have a typo here, this is a vector 3, not a vector. The camera I have to define as current. And in the character script I also have to do some modifications. The camera here I have to get from the target camera node. This is the new camera that we added to the character scene. And I also have to get this node in the physics process method, and not only once in the ready method, because the position of the camera is changing when the character moves. Ok, so let's start the game. And the camera should follow the player now when I move him around. You see this works, this is a very simple camera follow script. But I think it's a good starting point for understanding the basics and in a future tutorial I will add new features. So guys I hope you find this interesting and useful and if you do please don't forget to like and subscribe and think about supporting me on my Patreon cause creating these tutorials is a lot of fun but also a lot of work. So help this channel grow with your support. Thanks for watching guys and see you soon on JNM.